In this video, we're gonna go over everything that turns your beard orange from jeans to UV rays. Now having ginger or orange hair in your beard is completely normal and natural. Now in my beard, I've got a range of different colors. I've got like light orange, I've got dark brown, I've got almost black, and now I'm starting to get my grays. I think I've got like two on each side. And I've always wondered what makes your beard hair different to your head hair. Like I don't have those colors in my head hair or what is there and what, where it's not receding or balding. Um, but yeah, I've always wondered like, what is it? So in this video, we're gonna go over the things that um, make your beard orange like completely despite the color of your head hair. And then we're gonna have a look at the environmental things that can actually cause your beard to turn more orangey that isn't related to uh, you know, a completely orange beard. So let's take a look at the first one. Now, if your beard is completely orange and your head hair isn't, there is a condition which is completely down to your genes. Your genes, you know, dictate everything about you and your your uh, your look and how you act. And if you respond, you know, like a red face to alcohol, if you've got curly hair, blue eyes, dark eyes, whatever it is, the genes play a massive role in everything. And of course, if you have a really orange uh, beard but not head hair, then that can be caused by a gene mutation. Now, this is kind of like becoming a shitty X-Man, X-Men sort of character where you, uh, yeah, have a mutation. So you do need two recessive mutations to have an orange beard despite your head hair. This mutated gene is MC1R. That doesn't really matter, but what this gene does is it codes for the way that the color pigments in your hair are produced and expressed. So we do have to understand a little bit about pigmentation and how that gets into your hair. So once again, a little bit sciencey, but not too bad. So you have two types of pigment cells at the base of your hair, and they kind of get passed into the hair as it grows. Um, and there's two types, and they're both kind of called melanin. Like melanin is the broad uh, term for any pigmentation that is found in your skin or your hair, and you may be aware of that, you know, like I'm quite tanned and when I go out in the sun, my my skin gets darker and that is melanin. And I think there's like even melanin like yogurts that you can, you can eat, uh, which is disgusting. Anyway, melanin. Melanin at the base of your hair comes in two forms. I'm gonna to try to say this right, but it's eumelanin and pheomelanin. So these two types have got different colors. The first one is brown and black. So if you've got a lot of brown and black in your hair, it means that these pigments are being pushed out into your hair as it grows. The other one, which is where, you know, this, this video kind of like comes into its own, is pheomelanin, which is the yellow and red pigmentation. So there clearly lies your, the answer to why your beard is turning orange. Clearly, you're having more pheomelanin in your beard than the other one, the darker one. Now, the gene that codes for this and the mutation means that you're overexpressing pheomelanin and underexpressing eumelanin, EU melanin, however you say that. Um, and so, yes, that is why if your beard is orange despite your head hair, that is why you could be having an orange beard no matter what. Now, like I said, this depends on two recessive genes mutations to be uh, sort of combined in your body. Now you get your genes from parents, they get it from their parents, and you know, you share a, was it 0.78% of your genes with your great, 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 great something ancestors. So it could be that you are being passed on a recessive gene from all those generations ago, but that is very unlikely. It's likely that it's come from your mother and your father and they've got it from their parents or it's just sort of like change and mutated as it's been uh, passed down in the generation. So there we are. That's why your beard is orange if your head hair or other hair isn't. 
all comes down to genes and those pigment cells. Now, let's take a look at the environmental conditions, which means that if you don't have uh, orange, be it normally, but you've noticed that you are getting more orange hairs, this could be the reason why. So there are some external factors that can influence the way your beard looks. Now, the first one has to be the most obvious, and it's UV rays. Now, UV rays have got such a high energy that they can destroy pigmentation cells in the hair. Now, this is most commonly seen like when you're at the beach. When you're at the beach or you go outside for a long period of time, my arm hair turns uh, blonde and kind of like a little bit orangey, but mainly sort of blonde. And it's just essentially the UV rays combined with the heat and then whatever else is going on. Maybe there's a little bit of salt water um, as well, but essentially it's the UV rays which destroy the pigment cells. So if you find you're going into summer and you're spending more time outside or even in the winter, but your beard is exposed to harsh UV rays regularly, you could be seeing that your beard is getting more and more orange or more and more lighter as the different brown and black pigmentations get destroyed. Um, and yeah, it can be as simple as that. So UV rays is the first thing you should think about if you've noticed a consistent and considerable change in your beard. And the only way to get around it really is to protect your beard with uh, UV protection stuff or just covering it up. Either one will work, but having a lighter beard doesn't really matter. The second external factor is all about heat. Now in 1994, I found this study which talks about bubble hair. Bubble hair is when you've overheated your hair with faulty appliances like faulty hair dryers or faulty straighteners, um, and it forms this little bubble. And this little bubble could potentially sort of lighten your hair because in that bubble is just gas. And so there's no pigmentation, um, it destroys your hair, your hair becomes brittle and falls out. But just check your heating regime. Make sure that you don't overheat your hair. Go check out my other video where I talk about the, uh, the heating elements and whether or not you should in fact straighten your hair with them. Um, and yes, heat and bubble hair could be a thing. It's very rare, however that your stuff malfunctions, but if it does malfunction, it can cause you to lighten your hair through bubbles. Interesting. And the third thing I think can really change the quality and the look of your beard is your diet. Now diet, you know, it really does shape your body. Garbage in, garbage out is the saying, I think in programming and everything as well. But if you're eating crap, it means that it can influence your beard and how it looks. Now go check out my other video where I talk about the different food groups that you definitely should each uh, eat. I'll leave the, the link somewhere here. Um, and I go through, you know, like the leafy greens, the nuts, the proteins, everything that you need to have a well-balanced diet to support your beard growth. You know, there's some things that you have to eat to support your beard growth because your body creates keratin and creates um, your proteins for your beard from the foods you eat. You can't get it just from your body or, you know, vitamin D is a big component. You can get that from the sun, but that's really about it. So yeah, go check out, make sure you're getting all the right vitamin A's and E's are very important, fatty acids. So that video that I've just talked about will tell you everything you need to know and you should go check it out. So there we have it. Why your beard turns orange could be a mixture of your genes, environmental conditions, but if it's your genes, there's really nothing you can do about it. You know, I'm not too concerned about having a ginger beard or, or um, lighter hairs in my beard. I'm kind of just letting it do what it does. You can obviously dye your beard if it does bother you, and that is something you need to keep up regularly, because otherwise the roots grow through and it's just obvious that you're, you're dyeing uh, your beard from being a different color. Uh, but yes, have a look at your environmental conditions if you are worried and make sure that your diet is good, that you don't have any UV um, exposure that's sort of damaging throughout the day. And also check that your 
heating equipment isn't damaging your beard. So there we are, check out all of those and I'm sure you'll be fine. If this video has been useful, please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want more information. I share everything with you about beards that I find interesting and the mistakes I've made so you don't make them as well. All right, until next time, I shall see you in the next video.